Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you like the content that I put out and you decide to stick with us. If you're not, hey babes, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, I'm so excited, like I, I am super, super excited about this particular video because it is going to be a series and I have been thinking about doing this series for such a long time the past maybe two or three months i have been thinking about it i've been putting down ideas together i've literally been working on it for as long as i can remember so yes we are starting a new series so we're starting a new series it's called the 30s series this is just um content series where I will be sharing my thoughts my ideas my life experiences since I turned 30 um, what you should do to you know be better feel better um, increase your values and all of that it's like it's, it's a whole bunch of things okay so and hopefully I can get like a couple of my friends who are also in their 30s to like do a video with me so yes we're finally doing it i have wanted to do this for such a long time i have been you know i've sort of been planning but at the same time i wasn't sure like what the reception up you know on this is going to be like uh, i'm not a life coach i'm nothing like that i just want to share like what my experiences have been um and i've just you know i've been planning but at the same time i've been procrastinating because i was sort of scared and I didn't know what the reception about this is going to be like so let's just do it and let's just get it over with okay um, the first part of the series would be to rebrand yourself in your 30s I've sort of done like a bullet point here so that I can see weather is hot though nah oh, it's visible heat in MM. But let's let's get back to it um so i've made like bullet point and i'm occasionally going to look down to look at the points and then keep talking i hope that this video is going to be a quick one and let me stop rambling and let's just get into this video the first part of this series is rebrand yourself in your 30s um people will talk about rebranding themselves reinventing yourself what exactly does that mean like what do you understand by that for me it's just changing the entire perception of how people see me and how i see myself as well right this just basically means the way you want people to see you the way you want to see yourself what do you want to change what is it about yourself that you want to change you want to be better at um, stuff like that and I just need to put out a disclaimer here reinventing yourself is by no means suggesting that you should be somebody different than who you are no that's not what it is okay and I don't want you to think that this video is telling you to change yourself or to be fake or to start portraying yourself as something that you're not um, but everyone has the right and should always want to be a better version of themselves um, not necessarily turning from point A to point B but improving A to be a better version of A than what you've previously been and I'll give you a couple of examples right if you're the kind of um, woman who usually just wakes up in the morning and gets on your day like you know winging it as it comes 
at the end of the day you might feel or see that oh you're not being as productive as you want to be um this can actually help you reinventing or rebranding yourself could be you wanting to wake up and articulating your thoughts first thing in the morning it could be you wanting to wake up and planning your day ahead of time scheduling your tasks giving them time making sure that you you know you set a target that you want to meet for the day and getting on to actually achieving that target it will take a lot of planning a lot of work a lot of intentional you know activities for you to get to that point that you want to be it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to change yourself completely to start being something that you're not it just means that you want to change yourself to be a better version of who you are okay so the second thing that you would need to do would be ask yourself how do i want to start so for me the first thing is to acknowledge this is who I am, these are my strengths and these are my weaknesses. Understanding that and like making peace with this is what I'm good at, this is what I am, but this is actually how I want to be and this is how I want my life to be. There's nothing wrong with aspiring for your life to be, you know, better than it already is. So acceptance is like the first step. It's kind of, I think it's called a grief process in psychology. Um, the first stage of it is acceptance so it's kind of like the same thing the first thing for you to do is to accept that oh you have a problem that you willingly want to change you want to do better or you want to you know improve <laughs> improve in your life that's the first thing that you should do the second thing that i always would advise people to do is look for someone that you like that you feel portrays that life that you're looking for or that standard that you're looking for for example my sister is a very organized person my elder sister is a very organized person she sets her goals she sets her target and she achieves that she i'm going to give you an example she's the kind of person and i look up to her so much um i'm sure she doesn't know this but i look up to her so much she's the kind of person that in the month she has already planned out you know these are the food stuff i need to buy she sets out a day to buy it she organizes her home you know her timetable is on point she knows when to get to work she knows when to wake up take care of her kids you know shower them take them to school when she comes back homework feed them tv time play time comf like she it's almost like she has her life planned out on a table and she just follows it line by line and it was something that I wanted to, you know, learn to do and I started like trying to incorporate things into my life that will help me get to that level of being organized, if that makes sense. So you, I would suggest that you find someone who you really see those qualities that you're looking to improve in yourself. Um, and I don't want to use this word role model because it's cliche but you someone you can for a lack of better term you can say someone who is a role model in an aspect that you want to improve in your life so you can find that person and you can literally see those qualities that they are doing that you want to incorporate in your life i would also advise that this person should be someone you know or you have access to or you can talk to because the truth is people are used to having people they see on the internet as role models without necessarily understanding the kind of life that they live and the struggles that they face and you won't be able to understand or get to know these things if you don't know these persons you know in real life so i would advise that you find someone that you have access to someone you can talk to someone you can reach out to or at least try to develop some sort of communication with that person so you can ask questions and ask them oh how are you able to do this i want to be able to do this i want to be able to change this about myself okay the next one would be um planning and this is still under under how do you start so let's say that the first thing that you want to do is be able to wake up in the morning on time um 
and you ask you have a friend who you know that is a very punctual person she's she wakes up early in the morning she starts her day early you know and all of that you want to learn how to do that you want to incorporate your life you know that in as part of your life you can start by pl planning I'm not used to waking up in the morning maybe I wake up at 7 a.m. and I want to be able to wake up at 5 30 every morning I can plan and say four times in a week I'm going to try and wake up at 5 30 in the morning I'm going to do this by setting an alarm I'll tell that my friend that I know that is always up early to so please wake me up call me at 5 30 to wake me up when you wake up <clears throat> this is like a way to start you are planning you're intentionally planning you know how you want to incorporate that aspect of waking up in your life waking up early in your life into your daily plan does that make sense <laughs> so the, the number three I would say would be baby steps start small don't look to haul over your life in one night it's not going to be possible it's not going to work out it's it's practically impossible to change yourself overnight okay so I would recommend baby steps start small like I used in my previous illustration decide that you want to wake up in the morning four times out of seven times in a week and work from there decide that every single time you want to step out of the house you're going to intentionally remind yourself to put yourself together that even if your enemies see you you don't have to and when i mean put yourself together you don't necessarily have to you know wear makeup or just like you're going for a party but like put yourself together that even if your enemies see you, they will know that you're living well and they cannot they will hide their faces in shame they cannot do anything about it okay <laughs> so be intentional about your steps take baby steps you know one at a time one thing at a time so baby steps the fourth one I would highly 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 recommend is document your journey this is going to be a very difficult step for everyone because you don't oh you don't always you know it's not convenient per se I think that's the right word it's not convenient for you to be able to document your journey while you're doing something but it is something that will worth it at the end of the day when you've actually learned how to document it will help you and at the end of the day you're going to look back at you know on your journey and you're going to remember that you know this is where you've come from this is where you are this is what you've achieved and all of that so be able to document your journey the um, next one number five for me would be accountability who are you accountable to who helps you with accountability now the person doesn't necessarily have to be on the journey with you but someone can be your accountability partner just let them know this is what you want to achieve always remember to ask me how I'm faring with this how far I've gone you need an accountability partner especially when you're starting new to help you get to that height that you want to do it's with anything that you want to improve if you want to lose weight you need an accountability partner if you want to learn how to save your money you need an accountability partner that just helps you puts you in order because you know as an adult you are free to do whatever you want nobody's checking on you so most times you lose control you forget yourself and you know you just live life because life is sweet and it's for the living so accountability partner kind of helps you like you know cautions you when you're about to make silly expenses or make silly decisions do you understand what i mean so you need an accountability partner to be able to achieve this part of life or this level that you want to get to in your life and the last one for me would be celebrate small wins <laughs> <laughs> I know this might sound useless, silly, not useless. It might sound silly to you, but I would advise that you celebrate even the tiniest win, the smallest wins that you've achieved. Celebrate it because by the time you celebrate it, you feel good about yourself. You feel good about what you've achieved. 
you feel good that you were actually able to do this and it encourages you kind of pumps up your spirit to want to do more <laughs> anyway this um a few points that i've just these few points <laughs> english is not my is not my first language these few points that i've put out um i hope this actually helps you or convinces you to go on a journey to remind yourself in your 30s 30s are like the new the new thing it's a new phase you have a lot of you know things on your side experiences you have what they call the audacity to do life you have the audacity to do whatever it is that you want to do to do life the way you want to do it there's no one that you know you don't care about what people think you don't what people think about you is literally inconsequential so that is what i love about being 30. it's a whole new age that where you can discover a lot of things experience a lot of things and i think you should take that opportunity to rebrand your life the way you want to do it now that you've done 30. does that make sense i hope that this video helps you come back give me <laughs> your comments tell me what you think about this and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye